Hi, I'm Miss Jade. I'm a freelance illustrator and visual arts instructor from New Orleans. That means that my job is making and teaching art. In my online class, I'll be sharing fun art activities that we can do from the comfort of our homes with the art supplies that we already have on hand. I'll show you what art supplies we'll need and give you step-by-step -step instructions for completing each activity. Anyone is welcome to join in, but please note that the activities for this class were designed for kindergarten through second grade. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to begin our first lesson using nature, shadows, and lines to make shadow art. You'll need a pencil, a piece of paper, and an object found in nature, like a rock, a stick, or a really tall snake plant. You'll also need a light, like the sun or a lamp, to shine on your object. We want the shadows from our object to fall onto our paper. Here, you can see I'm moving my plant to get a shadow that I like on my paper. Next, we'll trace around the shadow. It can be a little tricky when your hand gets in the way, but try your best. This is what my first shadow looks like. Now I'm moving my plant again to get a new shadow. I'm going to trace this shadow over the first one. Shadows are made when an object, like my plant, blocks the light from the sun. And now, we've caught its shadow on our piece of paper. Once we've traced our shadows, we can color it in. I'm using crayons, but you can use color pencils, markers, paint, or whatever you have laying around the house. My shadow reminded me of fire, so I chose warm colors like yellow, orange, and red. Now that we finished coloring our shadow, let's give the background some color too. The background is the empty space behind the shadow. I chose a bright blue.
And there you have it. After tracing our shadows and coloring them in, we have bright and colorful shadow art. For an added challenge, you can trace and color more shadows or use the different colored sections to practice your numbers. Enjoy your shadow art! So what did you think about today's lesson? Please leave a comment below letting me know how you did, what you thought, and what you would want to see next time.